I'm going out to a job, the door's off track. I'll show you guys how to reset a cable when the door's about halfway up. I'll be there in about 10 minutes. This door is off the track. You can see here, the top panel is off. This side's higher. If you look at this, the door's higher on one side than the other. If you can look up between the door there, you can see the cable. I don't know if you can see the cable spooled around. Maybe from the outside, you can see up in there. The cable's all spooled around the drum. This cable is all loose right here. If you go to this side, this cable's still on. So you still got this, this cable's got a lot of tension. It's still on. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do it. You know, there's different ways I can do this. I can get the door all the way open, put this back on the track, but I'm going to do it the, uh, a different way. I'm going to, I'm going to lock this on the track in its place. And then being that I could get my hand up in there, let's see here, the other vice grip. So what we want to do is we want to level, you know, make the door square again. So that way when it gets square right now, if I try to put this top panel, if I try to put this back on, you see how these rollers over here are really wide? The, this top panel, the roller won't even reach to put it on right now until I straighten out the door. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attempt Make sure it's off the... Okay, Brad. I'm going to attempt to lift this side as high as I can. But wait, wait don't, don't, lift, don't lift too fast because you got to roll it. Oh, there. Now, now I can lift. Until it's about level. See how the door's straightening out right now? No, no, that's okay. Is that about level? That looks like eyeball. Okay, eyeball it to be where it's got to be. And then we're going to put that there. Okay, maybe a little more. Let's go up a little more. Okay, so that's about where the door should be. So right now we can just get the ladder right here. And then it's probably on the top here somewhere. Here it's right here. Okay, well, so you never want to stand under the door if you don't have it. You put this roller in. See that roller? We popped it back in there. And then we're gonna we're just gonna go like this and hook the roller back on. Okay, the door is back on, except for the cable. So now we're gonna come over here, right here, and then we're gonna need a a ratchet. Oh, oh, clean. Seven sixteen. Well yeah, it's three eight though. But is that a long one? Uh, no, this one. Perfect. Oh. Now we're going to get up here, in here, and we're going to loosen these, these two set screws. And then we're going to loosen the other one. Okay, now that you got the drum loose. Yeah. Usually you have a room on the side. You can get up in there. But here... Now yeah. that now the drum is loose, you, gotta set the screws you, you see the drum up in here now is all loose by hand. You just hook this on onto the drum here. You can hook it on right here, push it tight, and then you got to be able to start wrapping it. Just make sure it starts right. Even if you don't get it to wrap right on the first one, when it goes up and down, when it unravels, it'll wrap right the second time. But just you want to get it all on the drum. Then you want to go here. You want to pull it as tight as you can. And then. Are you going to redo this when the door is down? Is it just enough to get it down? Yeah, it's not going to be perfect. And then when you get it down, you can mustache it. Let's see. Okay, that's it's not wrap, wrapping right, but. Like I said, once you close it and open it. Okay, now we're just about done. It's taken all of about seven minutes. Now we take that off. Take the other one off. And then you just lower this down. And then you can see, as long as that's wrapping right to begin with, which it is, you can see over here, 
what I do is I look for the set screws. So like that one's at like, looks like maybe five o'clock, right, right there, five o'clock. This one's a little bit more closer to six o'clock. So what you want to do, you know it's going to be off a little bit. You get your tape measure. And the, when this door was put in, the installer is supposed to put these, these vertical track in level. You don't just throw them in. But I, even if he didn't, that's how I do it. And that'll tell you the, the track is done with a machine, right? So it's going to be perfect if you do it this way. It's going to be eight and three quarters on this side. And then you're going to come over here. And then you're going to be nine and a half. So this side's got to come down to eight and three quarters. Okay, you got a pen on you? Here, so what I'll do on this side, you don't want this side coming up at all. So let's, let's hold it down with that. And then you're gonna come over here. This is what you call mustaching a door. You're gonna, I gotta, I'm gonna mark it eight and three quarters, which is right around there. That way I, I know when it hits the ground. And then we're gonna, we're just gonna loosen the set screws slowly. And then you can see that this here, the mark, the door is gonna go down slowly. Actually, about where you want it. But normally it'll slip down to that spot. But if I didn't have that vice grip on there, Okay, so now I gotta put it on this side because that drum slipped. I'm just gonna go a little bit on, on the other side. Give me that tape again. Yeah, this one's gonna go. Well, let we'll, we'll this go down until. Uh, I think it's Pretty good? I think it's going. When I take the other side off, it's gonna. The other side will go up a little bit. I think it's pretty even. It's not touching the ground though on either side, so it's probably set the... No, I know. The... On the door. No, no, I take that vice grip off. Okay, so... Now we get a measure. Measure down. You want to go down about nine and three-eighths. Now we're here. Should be pretty close. And... Around nine. So that side could have dropped a little bit more, but we can see how it runs first. So when you open it kind of like this. So you look at the track there. Look at the track here. Check the cables up here. That cable's all right. That one's all right. And just depend on how far it gets pulled back, it should be good. So, now we just push the button. No, no, leave it, let it go down. Got to catch. Okay, now go down. And that's about a 300 and something dollar job to do that. That happened every day. Now the bottom is good. Top is good, and cables wrapping right there. Cables wrapping right there. That's it. Okay, so that's it. You want to go over the door or anything? Do you want to service the door? So it sounds better. You might as well do it. Okay, this is, you know, we're just gonna do a minor service on the door. You want to spray that bottom roller. You see the inside track here where the door rolls down. You can see where the pressure is on that roller from that black mark. That's usually where the pressure, as it goes down, it gets tighter. So you want that to be kind of lubed out so that roller can spin, doesn't get, doesn't dry up. But here, there's a bearing in there. There's a bearing in there. You just want to get in between that little pivot, round pivot joint there. That's what causes all the squeaks. And everyone's going to say, what are you using?
WD-40 for. It's not a lubricant. Until they come up with something that can get in between these little cracks and stop the sweets, I'm going to use WD-40. I know it's a penetrant. There's nothing else. I tried the other ones. All they do is sit on top of the of the hinge. And it's actually one, one of the ones I tried made even more noise than when I got there. So WD-40, you're trying to impress the customer and you want it to sound good. Use WD-40. All right, yeah, we're going to tighten up the hinges, which, you know, we got an apprentice here learning the ropes that's eager to do it. When you first start starting this business, it's like you don't want to leave your job. You want to do everything you can to the job. We'll open that one at the end. Just do the one that you don't have to bend over. Like the ones you can reach without bending over. That way you always learn, you'll learn the easy way, not the hard way. All right, and then uh, like over here, you can't really get to them. So you want to open it and then you can get to it probably easier when it's open. You don't want to walk over there. All right, go ahead. Can we do the bottom panel first? That way you could do the, these all the way across. You don't see it see us crawling into attic spaces. This is about as bad as it gets for service. Alright, All right, now do you want to do do that bottom panel over there? And then there's a very one of the under the roller. That when you hear that spinning, that means it's not tightening, it's spinning on that. Alright, so we're all done. That was basically reset the cable, but you know. Tighten the door hinges while we're here. No, I know, but it's good you learn these little these little tricks so that you don't waste your time unwinding springs. Is it the cable? Yeah, we even service the door. Oh, thank you. you, you, <laughs> you, you, you do it? Yeah, I think you just have to press enter. You don't have to do the code. Okay. Sounds better. Yeah. Thank you. If you want to get in this business, I highly recommend this garage door trade. There's not enough of us doing it, and there's tons of money to be made in it. You guys should learn this trade. Stop beating around the bush. I'm nobody special. They call me. I go out there. I do the jobs. Every job is I feel like I'm going to make a killing. I feel like I'm going to make a lot of money. More money I'd make in any other type of trade I'd do more money than anything I can do. Stop kidding yourself. You're not going to make money online. You're not going to make money doing all these other fantasy things that, you know, all these people selling fantasies, that's what they are. All these people telling you to sign up for their book or sign up for their instructions, how to do it. That's all a fantasy. This is a tr real trade, a real thing you learn, a real reality, a real need. It's a necessity. People don't know who to call. I'm telling you, people are they're thrilled when you get there. I mean, they, they like when you come out. So when you show up there, they're never gonna tell you no, never. So you might as well get into this business, start marketing yourself on Google and Yelp, and your phone will start ringing off the hook. You can start going out, bring a friend with you. There's garages everywhere. They all need to be fixed. They all break, and they break multiple times. They don't just break once. And you know how many jobs I've been to? I've probably been to over 10,000 jobs. So 10,000 times three, I have 30,000 jobs I have out there. If I make $1,000 on each one, you, you do the math. So anyway, get involved with this business. It's real important that, you know, if you guys are thinking about getting into this business, that you take, you gotta, you gotta take action though. That's the problem. A lot of you guys say, I wanna do it. And then you get up to the you get up to the plate like in baseball and then you strike out you, you can't just want to do it it's not going to happen that way you have to learn how to do this learn that's the first thing you learn once you learn how to do this you're going to be anxious to go out there and do this and then you're once you do it and it works you're going to love doing this this is going to be an accomplishment every time every job is an accomplishment and then on top of it they pay you all kinds of money to do it so anyway I hope to see you sign up for this class. You could go to www.garagedoortrainingschool.com. Learn how to do this. There's a lack of garage door technicians. Your phone will ring off the hook. 
one guy in an area can't handle all the work. There's not enough time in the day. So guess who they're gonna call? They're gonna be calling multiple people. That guy's not gonna answer his phone. If he gets busy or if they call you first, he's gonna say he can't get there till tomorrow or the next day. They're not gonna wanna wait. They're gonna call the next ad, it's gonna be you. You're gonna say, I'll be there in 30 minutes. They're gonna say, great. You're gonna show up and you're gonna make the money. That's how it works. That's how life works. So you just run the ads, people will call you. You'll say, I'll be there in an hour. And you go out and make this kind of money. It's not that hard. You're not gonna ever get in any business that's this little of work. This little bit of work you gotta do, you gotta have a few springs on your truck, a few cables, yeah, and you gotta drive around. And I mean, you can't go to a job and say, oh, I'll come back next week. I mean, no, people don't wanna wait in this business. So anyway, so get certified, learn how to do it. We tell you where to buy all the parts. We help you buy the parts. We help you, we even help people with their webpage. If you need, you know, help getting your webpage, getting your business off the ground, we help you with all that stuff. We're not gonna do it for you, but that's not part of the class, but we definitely help you. We've done a few web pages for a few companies out there and they loved our web our web design and they're super busy right now. We have guys that, you know, they call in all the time. One guy called from Boston and he this was back during Christmas and he said he he's indebted to us for the rest of his life. He said because he cannot believe how much money he's making and him and his son even worked on Christmas. And he said he he goes into Home Depot and buys all the garage door openers on their shelf and he drives around and he puts these in all the time. And he makes probably a thousand bucks every time he does it. This class is so worth it. If I took that class, this job, I would have earned it back, right? So to me, if you sign up for any of the other trades, you're gonna spend forty to fifty thousand dollars. You're gonna have to put at least five thousand dollars down, and then you're gonna have to finance the rest. And and you could only miss like two classes and you get kicked out. So and you know, it's, you gotta stay in hotels or you gotta be there all day. I mean, you gotta sit there with fifty other people and you know, they're not paying attention to you. If you're not learning it, too bad. It's going to cost you more money to stay in the class. So why would you want to throw your money away and learn those stupid trades where you're not going to make any more money? This is way easier. Let's say you became a heating and air guy. You know, yeah, it, when it's hot out, people's air conditioners break. And you go out, you change capacitors and whatever, compressors, whatever they go out and do. But guess what? They got to go in back of the house. A lot of times they got to, all the time, not a lot of times. They gotta crawl in the attics. They gotta go up on ladders. They gotta uh, go out in the heat, the direct sunlight where the where the fans and the, the, the fan spins out there. They gotta take all that apart. All those parts are burning hot from the sun and you're not making any more money. In this case, we back right up to the door. You don't have to go anywhere. And that's the next best one is heating and air. We feel this job is something, you know, it's not that strenuous where a man has to do it. Uh, so women are going to be getting in this too. So you guys want to think you're going to get into another trade, long process. You got to start as an apprentice. You got to work for somebody, work your ass off, do all the hard stuff that they don't want to do. Make a little bit of money. It might sound good to you now, but when you're making this kind of money, that money sounds like nothing. Yeah, they're going to pay you 30 bucks an hour. Big deal. So uh, get started with this. I'm telling you, www.garagedoortrainingschool.com is where to go go on the website sign up get your certification get going on this once you're signed up you'll be able to talk better with us calling us up and and procrastinating is not going to get you signed up so all you people that are thinking about sign up go to the website www.garagedoortrainingschool.com get this thing out of the way so you, you you're confident enough to you know how to do this uh you're not going to do it any other way so you're not just going to be able to know how to do it if someone called you right now and told you to come do a spring change, you would have got there and said, I don't know what the hell the first thing to do. But if they call you after you take this course and you go out there, guess what? You're gonna know how to do it. All you gotta do is tell the guy the price. And we give you price sheets as well. You just gotta laminate them. We give you price sheets, what to charge customers. We we give you, uh, you know, all the tools you're gonna need. We show you what tools you're gonna need. We have a video for that. We, I mean, there's so much that comes with this and you get a lifetime membership to the class. So by the time you get to a job, if it takes 30 days before you get a call and then you finally get out there, like on most hands-on classes, you're stuck on your own. So on our class, we have little mini videos on the website where, and they're all, they're all labeled. Like if you want to, if you forgot how to reset the cables, which side to put on first, all that stuff. All you got to do is go to that little resetting cables. They're all labeled 
and watch a little five minute video, whatever five to 10 minute video, it'll show you exactly how to do it again. It refreshes your mind. So you're not on your own when you get to a job. It's like you have a mentor in your back pocket. Anything that you want to do, like, you know, you forgot how to identify torsion springs. You go right to identify torsion springs. You can look it up and then watch a little video. It'll show you exactly how to identify them. And then you'll say, oh, okay, this is a left, this is a right. I mean, any little thing we, we have on there, this class is so worth it. 